Mycoheterotrophy, from Greek mykes mykes, fungus, eteros heteros, another, different, and troph troph, nutrition, is a symbiotic relationship between certain kinds of plants and fungi, in which the plant gets all or part of its food from parasitism upon fungi rather than from photosynthesis. A mycoheterotroph is the parasitic plant partner in this relationship. Mycoheterotrophy is considered a kind of cheating relationship and mycoheterotrophs are sometimes informally referred to as mycorrhizal cheaters. This relationship is sometimes referred to as mycotrophy, though this term is also used for plants that engage in mutualistic mycorrhizal relationships. Relationship between mycoheterotrophs and host fungi Full, or obligate, mycoheterotrophy exists when a non-photosynthetic plant, a plant largely lacking in chlorophyll or otherwise lacking a functional photosystem, gets all of its food from the fungi that it parasitizes. Partial, or facultative, mycoheterotrophy exists when a plant is capable of photosynthesis, but parasitizes fungi as a supplementary food supply. There are also plants, such as some orchid species, that are non-photosynthetic and obligately mycoheterotrophic for part of their life cycle, and photosynthetic and facultatively mycoheterotrophic or non-mycoheterotrophic for the rest of their life cycle. Not all non-photosynthetic or achlorophyllous plants are mycoheterotrophic. Some non-photosynthetic plants like dodder directly parasitize the vascular tissue of other plants. In the past, non-photosynthetic plants were mistakenly thought to get food by breaking down organic matter in a manner similar to saprotrophic fungi. Such plants were therefore called saprophytes. It is now known that these plants are not physiologically capable of directly breaking down organic matter and that in order to get food, non-photosynthetic plants must engage in parasitism, either through mycoheterotrophy or direct parasitism of other plants. The interface between the plant and fungal partners in this association is between the roots of the plant and the mycelium of the fungus. Mycoheterotrophy therefore closely resembles mycorrhiza, and indeed is thought to have evolved from mycorrhiza, except that in mycoheterotrophy, the flow of carbon is from the fungus to the plant, rather than vice versa. Most mycoheterotrophs can therefore be seen as ultimately being epiparasites, since they take energy from fungi that in turn get their energy from vascular plants. Indeed, much mycoheterotrophy takes place in the context of common mycorrhizal networks, in which plants use mycorrhizal fungi to exchange carbon and nutrients with other plants. In these systems, mycoheterotrophs play the role of mycorrhizal cheaters. Taking carbon from the common network, with no known reward, in congruence with older reports, it has been recently shown that some mycoheterotrophic orchids can be supported by saprotrophic fungi, exploiting litter or wood decaying fungi. In addition, several green plants evolutionarily close to mycoheterotrophic species have been shown to engage in partial mycoheterotrophy, that is, they are able to take carbon from mycorrhizal fungi, in addition to their photosynthetic intake. Species diversity of mycoheterotrophs and host fungi Mycoheterotrophs are found among a number of plant groups. All monotrophs and non-photosynthetic orchids are full mycoheterotrophs, as is the non-photosynthetic liverwort cryptothallus. Partial mycoheterotrophy is common in the gentian family, with a few genera such as Voiria being fully mycoheterotrophic, in photosynthetic orchids, and in a number of other plant groups. Some ferns and club mosses have mycoheterotrophic gametophyte stages. The fungi that are parasitized by mycoheterotrophs are typically fungi with large energy reserves to draw on, usually mycorrhizal fungi, though there is some evidence that they may also parasitize parasitic fungi that form extensive mycelial networks, such as armillaria. Examples of fungi parasitized by mycoheterotrophic plants can be found among the ectomycorrhizal, arbuscular mycorrhizal, and orchid mycorrhizal fungi. The great diversity in unrelated plant families with mycoheterotrophic members, as well as the diversity of fungi targeted by mycoheterotrophs, suggests multiple parallel evolution of mycoheterotrophs from mycorrhizal ancestors. References Further reading External links the Strange and Wonderful Myco Heterotrophs The Parasitic Plant Connection, Sue Carbondale, College of Science
Wayne's Word Noteworthy Plant for June 1997, Fungus Flowers – Flowering Plants that Resemble Fungi by W. P. Armstrong. Fungus of the Month for October 2002, Monotropa Uniflora by Tom Bolt, TomBolkFungi.net Martin's Treasure Chest, Images of Mycoheterotrophs by Mycologist Martin Bidartondo